Yo, what's good, guys? Give me two seconds to switch screens. Um, I'm going to try this. See if it works. It might not. Nope. Didn't work. And my keybind's not working either, so we'll do it this way. What's up, guys? We get to the game. There we go. How's everyone doing? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to take these guys off for a minute. So, yeah, I was listening to the music. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that in my headphones. If you can, sorry. Um, I got to work on that. <laughs> I'm actually going to turn these off entirely. Let me find where the button is. I'm sure you all can still hear that. If you can't, let me know. But, what's up, guys? Week 3, Rams franchise. As you see, St. Louis versus Chicago. But we have our first mock draft, so we're going to check that out first. Um, we have some renegotiations. I've kind of taken a little peek at it, so I kind of know who I want to offer versus who I don't. Um, yeah, so let's just start with this mock draft. As you can remember, we have full rosters, modded rosters. And the first overall pick is projected to be Eric Fisher to the Broncos. Followed by D. Milliner to the Raiders. Ziggy Ansah to the Rams, which is us. Um, which, by the way, I did trade for the Redskins first in 2013 and 2014 like the Rams had in real life. I traded 2015 seventh, just so everyone's on the same page. So we should have two picks here, but it might not register that. Uh, Sheldon Red Richardson to the Ravens at four. Desmond Trufant to the Colts at five. Xavier Rhodes to the Jets at six. D Hop at seven to the Vikings. Tavon Austin at eight to the Cardinals. Darius Slay at nine to the Buccaneers. Cordero Patterson at ten to the Cardinals. That would be ideal if we could get those two. Uh, I would I wouldn't mind D Hop and Tavon or D Hop and Cordero, but there is another receiver in this draft class. I don't even know if he'll go in the first round. Uh, at 11, they have the Titans taking Manti Teo. Uh, 12, Deion Jordan to the Packers. 13, free safety Eric Reed to the Redskins. Which So, yeah, they didn't edit that. That would, that would currently be our pick. DJ Hayden at 14 to the Giants. J.J. Wilcox at 15 to the Texans. Kevin Minter to the Falcons at 16. Eifert to the Chiefs at 17. Uh, Jones to the Eagles at 18. Jamar Taylor to the Jags at 19. Zach Ertz to the Bears at 20. Kenny Vaccaro at 21 to the Saints. Uh, Star Lotulele, I butcher that every time. Uh, D-Tackle, 22 to the Cowboys. Robert Alford projected to go 23rd to the Patriots. Tank Carradine to the 49ers at 24. Kawan Short, 25 to the Seahawks. 26, Justin Hunter to the Bears. 27, Barkevius Mingo to the Dolphins. Uh, 28, the Bills would have Travis Frederick. 29, they have the Steelers getting Le'Veon Bell. 30, they have Sylvester Williams going to the Bengals. Uh, 31, they have Dwayne Gratz, cornerback, going to the Lions. And at 32, they have cornerback Tyran Matthew going to Chargers. Interesting. Does it tell me when the next one is? No. Okay. Had to check. Ooh, that could have been bad. But we got that. So that's the mock draft. Um, I've gotten written down kind of what our strategy is going to be when we get to the offseason. We got some time. We got plenty of time. I'm probably going to stream earlier tomorrow. Um, and you're going to see these loading screens. I try to ask people, I'm like, hey, is this normal? Like, yeah, you, you got mods. You're going to run into that issue. So apologies for the delays. Um... I might try and speed it up for when I upload this to YouTube. So I don't know. I haven't even done that yet. But re-signing, re James Laurinaitis, I'm probably going to pay to come back. Um, Sean Lauvau, probably not. Uh, i got to look at that again. Alan Fanica, no. Barry Richardson, probably. Jose Valdez, ooh, we have two right tackles that are pretty good. Uh, probably Barry Richardson, though. I'll bring back Steve Smith. I'll probably bring back Chris Long. I took a look at the ends. They're not great. And that's not a position we really need to be focusing on. We need to focus more on our offense. 
Uh, Joe Hawley, I'll probably ooh, maybe bring back. Uh, Danny Amendola. Really just going to depend on what he's wanting out of us. Um, but other than that, I mean, not, I really don't plan on bringing back any of these guys. Uh, except Johnny Hecker, which we can negotiate with everyone now, which is, I actually really like that, okay? Um, so we're going to start with Laurinaitis. Which again, sorry for the delays. I can't, can't help this. Someone's going to need to get a compilation of how many times I say that, because this, this shit annoys me. I wanted to just move and keep, keep it rolling. Not gonna be the case here. All right, here we go. So they're starting. They're saying a five-year deal, um, three million dollars salary, four million dollar bonus. I'm gonna go with a player friendly to start with a three point three and a four point four. Okay. Yikes. I, I'm fine with giving him a five-year offer. Um. I need to look at my guard position before I offer that guy. Because realistically. It would be great, but if I don't need him, why would I offer him? So let's look at our guards here. Alan Fanica, uh, Rokevius Watkins, who should be starting over Alan Fanica. Uh, I don't know why I have not. I don't have him starting there. Uh, Scott Wells is our center, but yeah, I'm gonna bring back ooh, Harvey Dahl. How long do we have him under contract for? We don't have him under contract for long. I will probably have another three years of Harvey Dahl. I'm gonna go ahead and not re-sign Sean Lauvo. Uh, might try and trade him at the deadline. Uh, Fanica, I need to I need to bench him for Rokevius. So let's first start by doing that. Uh, depth chart. That's the only one I need to do. Oh, he's already starting. They they didn't put Fanica there. They put Fanica at right guard? No. Barry Richardson. Scott Wells. Okay, so yeah, that's how I wanted the line. Okay, cool. I was worried about that. I was like, he's in a higher overall. Hope he's not starting. Ah, hope everyone's had a great holiday weekend so far. Um, I know I have. So we're going to skip on both of these guys. Barry Richardson, like I said, I plan on resigning him. I'm going to offer him a player-friendly deal. I only offer him one year. I'll offer him like a three-year with a two and a one. I mean, I doubt he'll sign this, but if he does, great. Perfect. I got Barry Richardson back for three years. Excellent. Love that. Um, I forget who my right tackle is. Shit. Let's go Chris Long. I'll offer him like a... And then I'll offer him like a player friendly one year. See if he'll take it. He won't take it. Okay. Good to know. Joe Hawley, not going to bring him back. Amendola is going to be later on in the year. Uh, who was it? I was looking at Johnny Hacker. Let's see if Johnny. Hacker. Um, we're we'll offer him a. Oh man, first deal money, very player friendly. Um, offer him a honestly, I'm gonna offer him a seven year deal. With a three million dollar salary. No, don't be stupid. Very player friendly. from a four-year deal okay so those three that I'm these are the main three I'm wanting Hecker uh, Chris Long and um, James Laurinaitis I gotta look at Jose Valdez I forget if he's the guy who's supposed to be starting for us to tackle or not oh it was the one one second guys do the Spotify music stop? Nope, it looks like it's gone. Cool. It, it, it looked like it stopped on my on my side. My fault. All right, let's go check out our guard, our tackles, and then we can get into this game against the Bears. Uh, just as a reminder, I only play the offense. I watch the defense. 
Yeah, I just resigned Barry Richardson, so I don't need Jose Valdez. So he's a yeah, we're good. Those are the three we want. Laurinaitis, Long, Hecker, long term. Those are the guys we want. And who's our kicker? It's Zerline, right? At this point, it was Greg Zerline. Yes. Okay. This I saw some interesting practice squad people. I will say, but I'm trying not to be that guy who's like, oh, I know this guy's gonna be great. You know. Like, uh, on practice squad, like, look at kickers, Justin Tucker, Kai Forbath, Randy Bullock. I'm not going to go after them. Um, let's see if there's anyone else that really stands out. Chris Ivory. You, you get the point, though. I don't want to go after like a Justin Tucker because he's not Justin Tucker. So why would I sign him when I know what I have in Greg Zerline? That's kind of my thought process. But we got a week three game now against the Chicago Bears. As you can see, they have Brian Urlacher who already has 17 tackles on the season. Um, to show you a little tale of the tape, they are, we are about tied for offensive points per game uh pass yards per game we are nine spots higher rush yards per game we're both in the top 10 they are in the top five defensive pa points per game they are they rank fourth we rank 29th especially after that bad game against the lions uh pass yards per game is where we really struggle um and they they just have a solid defense so this is gonna be a fun one and a and a challenging one all at the same time and it's gonna be beautiful to look at And we are ready. Now I'm going to see if I can put this guy back on and it not sound like I'm going through a damn rocket ship. Again, let me know if the music's too loud, guys. Matt Forte, last week had 102 rushing yards. Steven Jackson looking good. That defense looking good. Oh, that. Jay Cutler. Yeah, we have portraits. We don't have actual coaches modded in. Not sure how to do that. So, yeah, that's one of those things we have to deal with. That's strong. Hmm. I love this song. I love this game, man. Here we go. Jay Cutler and the Bears starting off first and ten. Oh. They actually have the audio for Forte. That's cool. Also, just to, so everyone knows, I've decided from when I am... Um... Oh, hey, look at this nerd who decided to show up. Hey, Dad, how are you? Uh, but what I was saying was, um, when, I, when I look at defensive breakout, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play those... Yeah, man, so here's what happened with that. I was saying this yesterday. Uh, the Elgato kind of shit out on me, and I haven't been able to get it to work for months. I finally gave up. I had 
uh, Madden on sale for 30 bucks on Steam, so I got it and uh, started this mod franchise, 2012 Rams. So someone had really done all the creation work for it, like the uniforms and all that. Yeah, I think mine has to do with my uh, my HDMI cords because of where my TV is and where my Xbox is. It might be too long. Um, I just can't get it to connect. Um, oh, yeah, the key inactives. But, yeah, I'll have to show you a picture of what my setup looks like because I actually just added, like, some new... Uh, I had some shelves I got for Christmas, some new lights. So, it's looking nice, man. But, yeah, no, it... Yeah, I got... Actually, here. I got you right now. One sec. Oh, boy. Bears marching down on us. By the way, Mason, how is the uh, how's the audio levels, like my volume versus the music versus the game? Do I need to adjust any of that? I'll play action to Jay Cutler. Oh, man. Game audio is low. Okay. I think the problem I'm going to run into is, okay, let me see, um, how's that? Come on. Good breakup. Great breakup right there. Bradley Fletcher. Yeah, I have the... Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me try and turn this up just a tad. I have it at negative 30. Let me see. Oh, shit. Um, let's try... At uh, negative thirty, so we're gonna. I have it at twenty two. Let me know how that is. Ah, damn. Do I need a bit more? I just gotta turn this down in my ear. Try negative eighteen. Okay. Let me get this off real quick. Um, where's my mouse? Where'd it go? There we go. Eighteen. That like this right here is good, or I need to up it. Okay. Can I? That's an eighteen two. I am on the same audio. That's the problem. Let me see if. How's that? Cause I d I just down I dropped the uh, Spotify, um, audio. Audio is always such a pain to deal with because you never know how loud something is until, you know, you're doing it. All right. Yeah, good point. Fair point. Uh, play all offense. Oh, here we go. Chris Givens. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have taken that one. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Now let's see if Sam Bradford can do something. One and one, uh, yeah, dude, these mods are cool. Highly recommend if anyone, oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. I got I'm planning on uploading my VODs to YouTube too. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, 
Oh god. All right, here we go. How was your Christmas? How were the holidays for you? Hopefully you got the lady something nice. Okay, Bradford, let's go. Oh, and he's hurt. Oh, no. Our best player is down. Ah, oh, that's not good. I missed I miss my target. I had room, but couldn't take that chance either. I'm going to go ahead and look at Richardson here, probably. Oh, Lance Kendrick's coming down with it. Let's go. Tight end might not be on my list. Bruised ribs. We're going to keep Daryl Richardson in then for at least a little bit. Let him run the counter this time. If we could get a block from Corey Harkey, that'd be great. He had a good week last week running the ball, so I want to try and get him some carries this week, too. Oh, I should have gone forward. Is that trying to juke there? That's fine. It's third and one. Oh no, we're gonna we're going for it. Let's see the run play. Let's go, Pede. I say a Pede getting there. Let's go. Say a Pete again. Oh, not not a great run there, but I think we need to start throwing the ball some more. Oh, they're gonna bring out Steve. They're bringing him back out. Okay. That was to Smith right there. That was to Steve Smith. That was not good at all. But let's see if Amendola can get open. That's who I'm looking at here. Or Denario Alexander. Let's see who can get open. Lance Kendricks even would be good. Oh. Let's go, Amendola. Two-yard line. We got a big man back in. Oh. I was, I was worried about it, but there was really not another play I could call there. Kendrick's got us <laughs> down here with Amendola, and now he's going to get re rewarded by a touchdown. Oh, Steven Jackson might have the room, too. Let's go. Extra point. 
And now we're about to enter the second quarter tied at seven. Unless they run this back. Oh, they don't want to attempt. They want to attempt it. That's fair. All right, end of the quarter, tied at seven. Pretty identical for the most part, aside from the rushing yards. Or sorry, not identical, but pretty similar, I should say. Third and three, let's see if they got something. They're going to get it. Forte's got some room. Forte was a beast. You see him breaking a couple tackles there before Laurinaitis takes him down. There we go. He's already got 52 yards on seven carries. Forte is. This is why they're one of the best rushing teams in the league. Oh, play action. We got some guys getting in there. Oh, he fumbles. He fumbled. Oh, oh, Michael Brockers picks it up. And he almost had a thick six, baby. Oh, man. Look at that. He's trying to get away. And, oh, I think it's the second hit from Chris Long that stopped him. Before Tay ends up making a big play on the the defensive side of things. Sam Bradford about to come back out here. Let's see Steven Jackson. He's a little banged up, but... Oh. Only seven yards on four carries. Opposites. Second of five... I think this is the right call here. Hope it is. Oh, Steven Jackson's open there. How is he not in? Oh, they got they got guys ready for it. Oh, I jumped too early, and he they. they Erlacher got in there, man. Dang. Oh, Denario Alexander with a rush. They thought the same rapper was going to take it. He almost did, but I saw Denario wide open. Showing Jay Cutler how to do it. Greg the leg. Make it a seven point game. Kick is good. They're going to take it out now. 10, 20. 25, down the 25 yard line. Oh, they got an injured player. Ross. Coming out of the pistol. Oh, and again, this time Cortland fitting and coming down from his defensive back position. Portland Finnegan. You see him get in there right there. 
One more time. He tried to throw it. Second and 19, a huge nine yard loss there. They need to start, they need to get back to running the ball with Forte. But there is a flag here. I, I could be going back even more. Oh, that's bad. Second and 28. At the nine yard line, kind of the shotgun. Oh, they're not going to give it to Forte again. Now it's third and 23 after a short game there. Yeah, coming out of empty, that makes sense. You can't really trick him on a run, if you, even if you do. Oh, Janoris Jenkins knocking that one down. Let's go. Here we go. There's the point. They gave him just enough room. But that's not going to be deep. That's going to be about the... Got that almost to the 45-yard line. It's going to be a fair catch. Still got time. Still plenty of time. Let's see. Danny Amendola. I got to look at him right there. See some blocks. There we go, but there's a flag. I think it's going to be on us. Yeah, it's a hold. It's going to take it to first and 20. Barry Richardson, oh, not good. I just resigned him, too. Let's try to hit my main man, Danny Amendola. Just couldn't happen there. I thought I was going to the tight end. Uh-uh. Two passing touchdowns for Bradford already in this first half. Oh, I got a nice little push there. All I need. Daryl Richardson. Oh, Daryl Richardson's got some space. He's got some space. He has some space. Let's go, Daryl Richardson. 10, 15, 20, uh, 25 yards on that play. Of a, a juke. Uh, Steven Jackson get a chance to come back in. Ah. Try to hit it there. Second and 10. Make sure we get some yards. We're getting more than just some yards. We're getting a touchdown. There we go. I was wondering what was happening. I didn't hear any music. What a what a start for our boys. See if our defense can keep locking down this Bears offense. Let's see. Matt Forte. Ooh, 
He's had some big runs. They should really have been going in this whole time. Oh, big tempt and just overthrows his receiver. He might have had him if he didn't overthrow him. But third and nine now. Again, just taking a hit. Our defense coming out to play in Chicago today. They're punting yet again. After that first drive touchdown, they have punted and had a, they had a fumble on one of their drives. I was talking about us needing to go after receivers in the draft. Definitely probably looking like it, but our, our guys are catching the ball pretty nicely. They're doing a great job. Just imagine we had competent receivers. Oh, dang. Let's see if Steven Jackson can make some moves. I had to run right at him, try and just not lose more yards than we already were going to. Danny Amendola, dude, that guy has been such a stud. I really want to keep him. If I can, if I can resign him, I think I'm gonna keep him. Dude, is so good. And I might move on from Stephen Jackson after the season too. If he keeps playing like this, I'm going to have to. Daryl Richardson's playing great. It'd be a nice offseason move to move on from Steven Jackson. Oh, Kendricks, thank you for just knocking that down, but that should have been intercepted by a mile. Honestly, I'm going to run it with Steven Jackson. You to block him. Sixty-five. I gotta see his kick power. Ninety-five. I'm not gonna take the chance. They're down at the. Eight yard line, seven yard line. Oh, and they're they're pointing at a false start. Come on. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. First and fourteen. Half of this is to the goal. Down at about the four yard line. Was like it lines up with the four. Send some heat. Go get it. go get him. Go get him. And he gets that ball away. They need to get they need to get some yards. They might run this ball here. But they need to, we need to apply pressure. I'll get in there. Oh they they had a guy. Oh man. If we if we get in there though, that's a safety or at least a maybe a fumble. But we need we need we needed to press him. Probably should have done that on third down. Yeah, we that was a Failing coverage by our DC. Oh, 
Oh, Cutler's going down. He says, Yachty Bubbles again, and we got the ball! It's the second fumble of the first half in Dunbar. Jolon Dunbar. Did, just make sure. Was he not, was he down? No, I don't think he was down. Uh, can I get another replay of that? Actually, I want to see. Can I look at the instant replay of that? Sims gets in there. He hits him. Oh, that is so close. It's like, it looks like it comes out right as his knee. No, his knee hadn't touched and that ball's coming out. Yeah, that, that's a good, good call. Great call, actually. Move to Steven Jackson. Let that clock start moving. Ah. Steven Jackson, oh. Daryl Richardson with that big play there. Oh, let's go. Get jiggy with it, baby. Let's go. 28 to 7. In the first half. They've had a great defense this year. Fifteen seconds left in the half. We didn't we had to call one timeout. Now let's try and just get our guys ready to go. Not have to waste more time. They're going to run this. They're going to go for it. Down to 20, 19 maybe. They might, might run this ball. Nope, they're, they're throwing it. They're throwing it deep. Oh, did he get out of bounds? He might have. Yeah, he did. Got one Hail Mary attempt, probably. There's always room here for the lonely. Everyone who's watching this later is going to be so confused about my singing because they can't hear the music on the bods. I've turned that off for a reason. Copyrights and stuff. Oh, are they going to give me P.I.? I hate when they do that. They're going to get a shot at a field goal. I thought they might take a touchdown, but. There we go. 10 to 28, 18 point game. Here we go. We're getting the ball half. We're going to just take a knee. There we go. I might take a shot here early. Why not? Oh, Steve Smith with a big one. Let's go. Can't let off the gas. Not yet.
Oh, they sent heat from the right side, and it just never worked out. Ooh, Julius Pepper's breaking that up. Amendola. Okay, now he's really showing off. Oh, man. Amendola, come on. Let me showing off that much. That should have been picked. Nobody was open on that, though, to be fair. Let's try to give Kendricks a shot here, I think. Actually, no. One more play action. We're going to go to Harkey here. Oh, uh, Rokevius Watkins. Alan Fanica looks like he's going to be coming in. Amendola, oh, it just couldn't stop in time. Ooh. Oh, Fanica's not even going to come in, okay. Amendola has gone off this year already. Steven Jackson's second rushing touchdown of the year, or the game. Thirty-five to ten, with a lot of time left in this game. There might be some running the ball going on in the second half for us. Already a false start, not good. So that might be a hold. Oh my gosh. Nine yard penalty. Puts them down at their own nine. First and 24. Penalties are killing them. Penalties and turnovers. Oh, but they got a big game there. To Davis. They know they're going to have to pass this ball a lot more. He was so open. Ooh. Cutler throwing it deep. Brandon Marshall. They're making their way down the field. Down in the red zone after two big plays. Janoris Jenkins with the tackle, but couldn't couldn't take it. He couldn't take the ball there. Forte, oh Forte is finding room, and he's gonna get in there. Oh man, okay. He just made those boys look silly. They almost, we have one guy who almost stopped him. Eighteen point game. Man, 
And we're going to bring that out. Chris Givens. Now, like 23. I mean, Dola, five receptions, 106 yards. No touchdowns, but less than anything helps. Oh, more room on that left side. Two, all that for two yards. Dang. You know, I'm right at Brian Erlacher. It's not a smart move, but it was the right move. That's where the hole was. Oh, man. Danny Amendola looking for a flag there, man. Hager kicking that one deep. Devin Hester not going to get there. Forte. They need to go to him more. Only rushed nine times. 70 yards, a touchdown. Really need to get him the ball more. We needed to do more there. Steven Jackson might get pulled for the rest of this game, honestly. I mean, at least, nah, no, that's a hard decision. They're doing what they thought they needed to do, and we're, we're, going, we're making sure we stop them now. Second and 13, they're back to throwing it. And Jay Cutler with his third turnover of the game. Dunbar with another turnover. He's recovered. First a fumble recovery, now a pick. Jolon Dunbar, first career INT. That's great. Congrats to him. Let's see. We're, in, we're already in field goal range. Just got to do what we do best. Let's run the ball and run the clock. Ooh, back to the line. That's all we could get there. Don't want to be too conservative here. Oh, Denario Alexander wide open. Oh, my God. <laughs> Touchdown Rams. His second of the day. Let's go. There's the replay. He almost went out of bounds. Was able to luckily stop himself and turn and jump in. And Sam Bradford feeling good after this game. 41 to 17. Looking to be 42 after this extra point. Just taking it to the Bears today. Jeez. Matt Forte, averaging 6.7 yards a carry. They still have 200 total yards, but Forte, 74 yards.
Another first down, first and ten. Two and a half minutes left in the third. Call it another handoff. No, a pass. RPO. There's a flag. Oh, an ineligible receiver. That's rough. Empty set, first and 15. They know they need to make some plays. James Laurinaitis showing off that strength. I love it. There's Bennett now making a play. Or Martellus Bennett, Michael Bennett. I don't remember which one's which. I think Martellus was the one on the Bears. If I'm, if, if that's who I'm thinking of. Third and five. Bush. Like Reggie Bush? Oh, Michael Bush, I think, is who that one is. Minute left in the third. Another handoff to Forte. Oh, and he's got space to be another big run. But we're already 100 yards on only 13 carries today. He had some big runs. <laughs> oh, he looks tired, though. Are they going to give him the ball? They're going to lose a yard. James Lord is like, yeah, no 100 yard games for you, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, two RB set. They're not going to snap it in time, though. Second 11 will start the fourth quarter. Down 42 to 17. 25 point game. There's a first down. You got to move. You got to move, man. They're giving it to Forte again. Just fine, but you got to make sure you're running that clock. You're not running clock. You got to get that. You got to get there, man. Forte gets bottled up. And the clock is going to stop due to an injury to Gabe Karimi. Jay Culler throwing the ball third and sixth. Oh, excuse me. And they're in the end zone. Michael Bush. Eighteen point game if he can make this. Uh out looks like a glitch. <laughs> Not be cool, and he's kicking it deep. Okay, they're taking it out. Chris Givens. Thank God there was no turnover. Thank God there was no turnover. Sam Bradford. Same thing I did the last drive. Just get the ball and run the ball. And run the clock. Get us out of this game. And get Steven Jackson some more yards. Or whoever runs the ball.
I said to set him as the mic, he was not blocked. Daryl Richardson is going to have to get the ball. Third and nine. He has 50 yards on six rushes and a touchdown. Oh, he came off the block not in a way I didn't expect him to. Okay. Defense just has to lock up again. See if they can. They've been locking them up pretty well all game. Oh, Cutler is going down again. And he, fumb he fumbled again. It's his third fumble and he's thrown an interception. I think Brockers just recovered another one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's going down, he fumbles, and Brockers gets on top of that one. And once again, just run the ball with Jackson. Try and get us out of this game. First and ten. This game is over. And Steven Jackson with his third rushing touchdown. Forty nine to twenty four. We're getting our starters out of there. I didn't realize I didn't have him in, as the third string. See, Steven Jackson stay in. I don't care. Um, like. Both scave can come in. Yeah, they can. Defense can have some guys stay out there. Like, some of these young guys can stay out, but, like. Laurenitis, no. You're done for the day. Um, Jenkins can stay in. I'll up Jerome Murphy. I don't care about them either. Then, yeah. Alright. I think we're good. Just make sure we don't get any injuries to important players. Now we have to watch the loading screen for another 20 minutes. Ah, that wasn't bad. Yeah. 
Here we go. Yeah, just let some of the backups get in in a game that's already over. Oh my god, they went for a screen, and Brockers just got in there. He's got two fumble recoveries, a sack, some tackles, five sacks on the day. Watch this. Second and 23. Oh my god. That's a safety, dude. What is this? Wow. Jolon Dunbar. Did he recover that one? No, he, he forced the fumble. It looks like Chris Long got on top of that one. Yeah, this has been over. Kellen Clemens. Gonna get out here and get some reps in as we get this ball running. And this, the bus has started. We're ready to go. Two, one. Erlacher has 12 tackles this game. Here we go. Jay Cutler and the Bears have it again. I, I can't even be mad. I cannot be mad at all. They're trying to just make it look good. Joe, Jay Cutler's thrown for 243 yards, but, I mean, you look at it, that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. We're just running prevent at this point. Garbage time. False start, my goodness. I gotta lower that false start, I think. I'll leave it on for a little bit more, but if it if I notice it continuing, I'm gonna turn it down in the sliders. So each stream we're at least doing two games, maybe more. So there will be another game after this one. Two minute warning, yeah.
Colored with a dot. They're just doing what they can at this point to make themselves feel better. They're going for a touchdown. They'll get one too little, too late. We're just going to take a knee and get on our merry way. Yep, let's bring out the QB Neil, Kellen Clemens, let's go home. Let's go get another game in. Need one more. Just for shits and giggles. Oh, hey, Medola almost caught that, dude. If you, you, but let's look at our stats, dear lord. Jay Cutler, twenty of thirty-two, one hundred and twelve passer rating, three hundred five yards, three touchdowns, one int. Sam Bradford, thirteen for twenty-one, two thirteen passing yards, three touchdowns. Count Collins is zero for one. Rushing 27, 86, and 3 for Steven Jackson. 16, 103, and 1 for Matt Forte. 6 and 50, 1 for Daryl Richardson. Isaiah P, 2 for 6. That's 1 for negative 1. Cutler, 1 for 6 with 4 fumbles. Receiving Danny Mandola was our main guy. But Denary Alexander, 2 touchdowns. Lance Kendrick had 1. Our two big boys right there. Uh, for the Bears, Kellen Davis was their big guy. But they also had Earl Bennett, Devin Hester, Michael Bush, Brandon Marshall made a big play there. Um, Devin Hester made some nice catches. Uh, Earl Bennett was a real big one, but Kellen Davis had one of their touchdowns. Michael Bush had two. On the defense side of the ball, jeez, was there not to talk about? I'm not even going to look at TFLs. Sacks, we had one from Eugene Sims, one from Rocky. One from Brockers, one from Cortland Finnegan, one from Jill on Dunbar, one from Chris Long, or half from Chris Long and half from Aaron Brown. INT was Jill on Dunbar. Uh, forced fumbles, we had one from Eugene Sims, Chris Long, Rocky McIntosh, and Jill on Dunbar. Two were recovered by Brockers, one was recovered by Dunbar. Um, no blocks, but we did have a safety, which was also caused by Jill on Dunbar. Any touchdowns? I didn't think so. But let's not give let's give them their credit where they did things too. Um, I think we got sacked a couple times. No, Earl Acker just went off, man. He he's their he's their heart and soul. Man, what a game! All right, next week, ooh, rivalry game at home against the Seahawks. I'm ready for this one. 
weekly award we'll look at after we check out the league leaders. Uh, stats and award. I want to check out the league leaders. Not looking at where we place. I want to check out the league leaders. Starting with passing. Passing yards. Aaron Rodgers. Chad Henney is the starter for the Jags. Oh, man. Alex Smith. Matt Stafford. Let's go over the top ten. Rodgers, Henney, Smith, Stafford, Brady, Rivers, Breeze, Romo, Newton, Vic, maybe. I lost track. We'll go for the top five instead. Touchdowns. Brady, Manning, Rogers, Newton, Schaub. Brady's got 10 touchdowns. Jeez. INTs. Andy Dalton leads. Longest pass so far. 79 yarder from. I know when that happened. Uh, Phillip Rivers also had a nice one. Andrew Luck had a nice one. Uh, rushing. Michael Turner leads the league. Followed by Matt Forte. Doug Martin. Aaron Foster. Ben Jarvis Green. Ellis leading. I accidentally hit the wrong button. <laughs> Leading the league in touchdowns is Steven Jackson with five. He had three last game. Now he's in the lead. Let's go. Um, most broken tackles. Roy Hallou followed by Steven Jackson. Longest run is... Oh, wait, sorry. Longest run, 88-yarder from D'Angelo Williams. Let's go. Receiving-wise, Danny Amendola leads the league by a nice margin. About 26 yards, I believe is what that is. On quite a few less receptions. Wes Welker, though, he's up there. Uh, Randall Cobb, Antonio Gates, and Laurent Robinson. Randy Moss is right there, though. Who's he playing for? The Niners. Receiving touchdowns. Andre Johnson leads the league, followed by Demarius Thomas, Wes Welker, Michael Crabtree, and Ahmad Bradshaw. Steve Smith. Not to be confused with our Steve Smith. That's Steve Smith Sr. Uh, defense. Who leads the league in tackles? Brian Cushing, Darrell Washington, A.J. Hawk, Bobby Wagner, Brian Erlacher. TFLs, Darnell Dockett, Erlacher, Tyson Alulu, BJ Raji, Philip Wheeler, Sachs, Randy Starks, Pat Sims, Cam Wake, Mom Wilkerson, Michael Boley, INTs, Josh Wilson, Trent, Terrence Newman, Nate Allen, Marcus Gilchrist, Madhu Williams, uh, Force Fumbles, Corey Redding, uh, Terrence Knighton, Namakin Sue, Brian Scott, and Lamar Woodley, uh, Fumble Recoveries, Corey Redding, Michael Brockers, Lamar Woodley, Brian Scott, Terrence Knighton. One block from Deshaun Goldson. We have one of three safeties. Bobby Wagner, Brian Erlacher, Steven Nichols. Uh, that's false. We have a safety. We, we got two. They're screwing us, man. We need to look at the rest of it. God. But we got a weekly award... I'm assuming it's for Dunbar or Brockers. Maybe Bradford, even. It's Jolon Dunbar. Four tackles, one sack, one INT, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. But I will be right back. I got to go run to the restroom. So please enjoy the be right back screen.
Sorry about that. We are back. Uh, come on. There we go. So we got that. Players to negotiate. We got some guys we need to send them better offers. Previous offers, five years, 3.3. An offer of a very player friendly with a four and a five on a five year for James Laurinaitis. Oh, he wants more money. Shit. We have money, but like... Chris Long. Oh, she wanted, wants to see the one. Up his to three and three. On a, I'd like him to be on a two year if I'm offering him that. Yeah, okay. I'll take him on a two year. Even if it's a backup. Johnny Hecker. Hate these load times, man. I'll offer him a five year deal. I'll offer him four. At two and one. Okay, we're gonna have to offer him more or he won't negotiate with us. Uh and then Danny Amendola. I would like to keep you. What kind of offer are you looking for, though? Because he wants to be here. That's the thing. And he's been playing very well for us. He'll probably get an... If he keeps up this pace, he'll get a dev trade upgrade. Um, he wants a three-year contract. That's 70 overall, normal dev. Mmm... I'd like to keep him around. Two year team friendly deal. Oh, we want something much better. Okay. I I don't think I can offer it. I'll offer him the same amount for two years probably. Just until we can fill his spot and have him as depth, but not until we see something. But yeah, QB check in here though. Two two and one teams leading the NFC West. By the way, uh, coach, we're approaching the end of the first quarter of the season. What more do you need to see out of Sam Bradford? Simple. It just needs to build chemistry. You can pause to read that if you want. Four. Does say four plus offensive touchdowns? Ah, oh, fuck me. This is Legion of Boom era. But I don't think it's Russell Wilson era yet. Okay, cool. It's just lagging. Player showcase right here. I'll talk about Steven Jackson's three touchdowns. Matt Flynn, is that who they're starting right now? Uh, Pete, your hat's looking funny. Golden Tate back there? Oh, man. No. Uh, I knew that would happen. I'm, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I gotta fix that real quick. Sorry, we missed. We didn't miss much, apparently. Let's look. Three yard rush, three yard rush, 10 yard penalty, <laughs> sack, punt return. Awesome. 
We're on offense now. Perfect. Let's see if Steven Jackson can make something happen here. Three yards, okay. Oh, Kendricks missed his block, man. I should have just gone through that other hole. I thought my man would pick up his block. I was sorry. <laughs> oh, almost picked off. Not a good throw there. I just didn't see something I liked. Right, let's go. Let's watch and see if our defense can stop Matt Flynn and Mar or Marshawn Lynch. Took two of our guys to take him down. 121 yards last week. Four yards from the from the first down, third and four. A oh, flag. False start. This will be the real game that decides if we're gonna keep false start sliders up as high as we do. Third and nine now. Don't think Marshawn will get the ball now. Oh, Flynn gets the ball off. He's going to be short. Sidney Rice. You're going to punt it. Got a lot of defenders there, and Amendola's not going to go very, really anywhere. Let me set this over here. Pete Carroll, you're you're wearing your hat wrong, buddy. Let's start of the play action. Get Sam Bradford feeling good. That's the opposite of what I was expecting. This defense is not doing us any favors. I'm going to get first. Oh, Steve Smith's going to get a first and more. Only one yard. Steven Jackson has not been good at getting big yard gains. But he's good when he's needed at the goal line. And he's been decent through the passing game. So he'll get, he'll get the occasional big run like that. But that's about the best you're going to get with 86 speed. Oh, 
Denario Alexander almost had it. One for four, 18 yards. Get Steven Jackson the ball again. Oh, it's tired already. Just getting back to the line. No, that's not what I wanted. Shit. Lance Kendricks, big play. Oh, Amendola making another big play, getting us down to the five, maybe the four. Jackson again, and Matt McCoy goes down for Seattle, but Steven Jackson with a big play there. Could, extends his league leading touchdown numbers. We had four offensive touchdowns. That's one. So we have to score at least 28 this game. Fulton Tate didn't take it. Down like the 27, 28. Marshawn Lynch getting the ball and not going anywhere. That's not normal. But James Laurinaitis, that's why you re-signed that man. And he's trying to make sure we pay him. I'm, I'm wanting to. Oh, almost a pick right there from 20. Oh, there's pressure, and he goes down. Rocky McIntosh with half a sack. Who is the other half? Oh, and he looks hurt, though. No, he's good. Rocky McIntosh, as you can see after this. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about the presentation. Who is there with McIntosh? I can't tell. Fourth and 23. John Ryan with a big punt. Amendola is going to get this one. He's going to try and return it. Not going to go anywhere, though. 235 rushing yards, six touchdowns on 70 rushes. I love boot slides, especially when they're going to the right side. Oh, Am that's Amendola, man. Hey, I see you now. Yeah, Marshawn's not doing anything, my man. He has not been doing it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if it was. I didn't know who fifty-eight was. I knew forty was Macintosh. The problem with Steven Jackson in this save file is that he's got 86 speed, but it, it is 30 year old Steven Jackson. So it makes sense for him to have that. Oh, Steve Smith, not to be confused with Steve Smith senior R. Steve Smith, the good Steve Smith in this franchise. Oh, here we go. Steven Jackson, big play right here. Oh, I should have waited. Hey, there we go. Second quarter. We, we, we probably won't score 51 this game because Jay Cutler's just bad. But look at this. Four passing plays, four rushing plays, a total of 11 yards for them and no points. Um, let's go with this tight end flood. Another Steve Smith completion. Ah, 
If he didn't get caught on that, I might have been able to pass that. To pass that defender. Zone toss. Oh my god, he's so slow, man. He's going to be a guy I probably look to trade off season, but I might make the move to Daryl Richardson this regular season. Oh, I... Oh, uh, Rakibis Watkins is down again with an injury. Oh my god, dude. This lag is awful. Ah, this is so bad, man. This lag on the kicks. There's a delay. I keep trying to get it, and it's still... I can't make the kick. I like that I can miss, but I miss too often. Lynch is going nowhere. Good lord. Oh, man. Matt Flynn. Oh, man. Again, just a three and out for Seattle. They might need to go to Russ. Oh, we got some room here to run with this one. There was room and... Here we go, Steven Jackson. They're showing off his stats, but they're not good. They're not good this year. That's through three games. Only 24 yards this game. Ah, uh, come on. When do I give up on Steven Jackson? Oh, Lance Kendricks, man. These I'm making these guys look good. I'm just using the Rams playbook that they gave me. I don't know if it's their current playbook or not, but... I assume it's their current. But regardless, man. Five yards on that. I'll take it. Was he, though? I don't think it was swallowed up. Richard Sherman with a nice tackle there, though. Big man on this left side looks tired. Oh, he, 38. He just ran right through him. Oh, Cam Chancellor gets hurt. I think after this game is going to be when we adjust our uh, adjust our rushing rotation. I guess Steven Jackson in the game, but He'll probably play power back the rest of the season while Daryl Richardson gets some chances. Yeah, no, not running that. Move and... Only two. 15 rushes in this first half, and he's not doing anything, though. Barry Richardson is now hurt. Another offensive lineman. 
We're going to go for it here. It's not Sean McVay, it's Jeff Fisher, but go on. We got it. So has anyone got any big New Year's plans going on? Or are we just chilling at home? That's why this team's so bad. A little. How he got that, how we got positive yards, I don't know. I'm going to give it to Steven Jackson here. Thought I'd try it. Didn't think it would work, but I thought I'd try it. Okay, I got that one. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Now let's see our defense play ball and keep them down. So they're going to Marshawn again. Marshawn still does not get... Marshawn and Steven Jackson. This has not been a running game that we you'd expect here in 2012. Two-minute warning, though. Oh! Marshawn tried to move too quickly before he had the ball. Oh, there you, there you go. Miller with a big gain for him. Dude, what is going on with some of these uh, things? Like... Look at that. He's wide open. He's, but he, and he just was able to keep his feet in. He knew there was no one near him. And he just was able to get in there. Matt Flynn, Marshall on the backfield. Still uh, over two minutes, or sorry, over a minute and a half remaining. Yikes. Yikes. Getting pressure on him, and he goes down. Hagen with his first sack of the day. Third and 16. Oh, and he goes down again. We got to call that timeout. Let's go. Fourth and 31. They're punting it. Punting from about the 20. Gets it to our own 20, 25. Minute two, I think we're going to make an attempt to go score. We're just going to go for it. I mean, they got one safety back. Oh. Sam Bradford, man. He's going to be our QB for a couple seasons, most likely. Steven Jackson. See, he's good in, like, receiving back roll. But, like, oh, I, I should have hit X there. That's the play I call.
Uh, I wanted to. I wanted Amendola to keep going, but he didn't. We have 22 seconds, two timeouts. Watch Smith on this one. Brian Quick's ready there here. It's out of bounds, so we can run the ball if we need to. If I feel like a run would be a good call, I can call it. Like right here, I'm going to run the ball. Formation allowed me to do that. I still have one left. I have one more shot at the end zone, maybe. Yeah, even the game's saying I do. But it's got to be quick. Amendola gets in. Let's go. Beautiful. Two seconds left on the clock, too. 17 nothing going into the half. Huge. Huge. Let's see what's going on. The Jets. Okay. Super Bowl picks for this year. Um, in the AFC, I'm going to go with Baltimore in the AFC. And in the NFC, I can't bet against Detroit. But I'm going to. Because I'm going to be biased and go with the Rams. Detroit's my number two. The Rams, they're, they're good. They're really good this year. And they're so underrated. What about you, Stewie? Who you got? The Rams always beat them in the postseason. So they just don't need to avoid the Rams. Honestly. The Rams never beat them in the regular season, but they always have their number in the postseason. That's that's why I would go with them over. Yeah, let's hear let's hear that. Let's hear AFC. It's hard to bet against the Chiefs, but I have to with how they how their receiving game's been. My God, Amendola again. What do you think of the, well? While you're thinking of that, what do you think of what's going on on screen? With the with this uh, series I got going on, or do you, do you need me to explain to you what's happening? I agree with that. However, oh, they didn't give me the first. Let's hear it, Stewie. I'm waiting.
Oh, I got bailed. You know what? I forgot about Cleveland. I did forget about Cleveland. Oh, man. Well, I did forget about Cleveland. I think... I'd love for Cleveland and Detroit to be the Super Bowl. I really would. Cleveland could make a deep run, too, though. I agree with you. It's really going to depend on seeding. And that's a big if for me because, you know, depending on how it's seeded would depend on who I think goes where. Oh, man. He stuffed me right away. I'm going to go for it again. No slam. Oh, Jackson gets down to the five. If Cleveland can avoid bowl tomorrow, I think they can go. Honestly, same. I think they even have a chance to beat Baltimore. Like, they they are a shocking team. It's going to be a fun postseason for once. No Brady to worry about. Mahomes doesn't have a receiver. Oh, absolutely. As they, as I would hope they would. I mean, every team should. But I see. I get. I understand what you're saying. Steven Jackson, no stuffed again. We're going for it. Oh. All right. Let's see if my defense can come up big here. They have it at the two-yard line. Let's see if we can stop Marshawn. Stuff Marshawn again. I think he just got you know, barely one yard. I'm hoping, man. I got one last game on a fumble from Jay Cutler. He had four fumbles and an interception last game. Oh, no. Okay, I don't think the safety's happening, but I think I can get a stop here. I need four offensive touchdowns. I've only gotten two. Right. Oh, it's a flag. Hold on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, man, I was paying attention. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so much for that. It's right. Jill on Dunbar won defense player of the week last week. Ah, oh, dang. That's upsetting. All right, let's let's do something. Ooh, full house, uh, pistol, full house, space. I think we got us again. Yep, they got us again, man. That's rough. Rocky McIntosh this time. So first down, first and five. I mean, it's smart. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't either if the, with the Jets being out. But he wanted to be able to say, "Hey, if we can make it, if you guys can hold off, I can come back and win it for us." Um, but the problem is, and I think this is the crazy part, is that they got rid of Joe Flacco, and now you see Joe Flacco is taking the Browns to the playoffs while they're going to be sitting at home. I mean, that's the crazy part. Oh, my God, another flag. I mean, that's not necessarily true, but... I, I see what you're saying. Again, I get what you're saying. First and 15. Jeez, second and seven now. Oh, Marshawn trying to fight my boys? Uh-uh. I mean, you mean if he fully tore his Achilles again? Is that what you're saying? Like his career would be over? Yes, that is disturbed. Are the volume, is the volume level good? I was talking with my buddy earlier, and he told me to turn it up a little bit. Um, 
I mean, if he fully tore his Achilles, maybe, but the likelihood of that's very slim. And the surgery he had, I mean, it's a new thing. So, but Doug Baldwin. Okay, cool. But yeah, this is disturbed. I actually saw them in concert uh, a couple months ago. Um, so it was them and Breaking Benjamin with Ginger, I believe. Doug Baldwin, though, with a big play right there. None of our guys could get him. Well, actually, we, ha we had him. What, is that about the concert? Oh, yeah, I saw them. And then I also saw Shinedown, Papa Roach, and Spirit Box at a show. Oh, my God, dude. Our defense is penalty after penalty. Throw the freaking flags. I need to get my own flag. Face mask, defense. Dude, it was such a good concert, man. If you get the chance to, go. I paid... Fuck, I don't even remember what I paid. Alright, Matt Flynn. Let's, let's stop him, boys. This game's going a lot faster than the last one. Winslow. Kellen Winslow? Yeah, I had, I went to those two over the summer. Oh, shit, they're, they're close. They're in the red zone. <laughs> They give it to Marshawn. Go stop him. Get your bit. Oh, I was going to say it. Either way, get your bitch ass down. Rocky McIntosh with a nice tackle on Leon Washington. Third and five. Marshawn's back. Oh, damn. Yeah, they were like 10 minutes for me, I think. 10, 15 minutes. I would be too. Okay, what are they going to do here going to the fourth? Fourth and 14 in the fourth quarter, down 17. You got to take the three at some point. Might as well take it now. They're going to kick it. Russ holding the kick. They're going to make the field goal down two touchdowns. Steven Hauschka. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I was, uh, they were in St. Louis, and luckily it was at the amphitheater that's a couple minutes from my house. So, me and my buddy just met up here, and we went over. Of course, we bought tickets ahead of time, but we got the general admission grass seats, so it wasn't anything too crazy. All right, let's get this game rolling. Second and four after a nice little run. Oh, come on. 25 rushes, 81 yards, and a touchdown for Steven Jackson. I see the first. Need, need one yard. Can you give me one? Give me one. He gets me one. Oh my god, man. I'm sure that was. I uh I'm tempted to go see its Creed reunion concert with three doors down and finger eleven. Highly contemplating going to that. Oh, Lance Kendrick's hurt. That's not good. Oh, you're going to the Creed re Reunion concert? Or uh, the tour, I guess, I should say. I haven't looked at where else, all they're going. My buddy actually told me about it. I hadn't even heard they were doing it yet. Ah, oh, broke off his tackle. Yeah, no, I did too. The tickets are not cheap by any means. Things like a hundred dollars for general admission. Let's go, Richardson. Just keep the our run game's going solid. I say as we only get two yards or three yards on two carries. Let 
Look at Amendola and Isaiah Pia's out here now. Oh, he got hit. No. Fuck. That's a bad punt. Ah, No! Sydney Rice. And just like that, we have a game. <sighs> Matt Flynn and the Seahawks are making a comeback. I do too, man. I do. I, uh... I was doing some other projects for the wrestling community and, like, the simulation... Uh, Eve had community, but not doing that anymore. Um, and he's not bringing that back. I'm shocked the channel's still up. Actually, I know he was trying to get that deleted for his uh for his job, so he didn't want anything to be able to come back to him for his career and stuff, which I understand completely. But yeah, I I miss it too. I yeah, apparently he was trying to get the YouTube gone, but didn't work i'd be tempted like to bring back myself i would all right let's try and run this clock down some more richardson's got some speed i like him 41 yards and nine carries we're gonna run this clock how we can Actually, I shouldn't chew it yet. I'm not going to. Walter Thurman. That's a name. Oh, Richardson, man. That dude's proven his worth for this team, man. Oh, I tried to get to the outside, just couldn't get there. Isaiah P need him here. Big a big play here from him. Nothing on two rushes. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, we got to punt it. This might be, they might have a chance. That's within the 10. They're going to say the 11. Okay. That's fine. Let's go, boys. Stop Marshawn. Stop Matt Flynn. Let's go get a win right here. Oh, Sidney Rice with a big catch. But the longer he's up, the more that clock moves. And he's got four and a half minutes. 104 yards off there, that big one. Got a lot more rushing yards, though. Oh, and he goes down. Jill on Dunbar, second of the game. Three and a half minutes, six sacks today, too, man. Let's 
see. Can we get to Matt Flynn? And Brockers gets him now. Are they going to go for it or punt? This is a big decision here. Three minutes left. They're punting. That's the smart. I think that's the smart way to go about this. They might have to start calling their timeouts, though, after this. Medola down at the 45. Our boys are ready. Okay, they're, they're going to start calling their timeouts before the two-minute warning. Just, just run the ball. Third and seven. I'm gonna call I'm gonna run the ball. I lied, no I'm not. Arm punt, arm punt. Oh no, we gotta get to him. We gotta get to him though for it to be an arm punt. This oh man, that might have been a mistake. I was like, oh no, we gotta get I'm like, uh we're the only team with a turnover, though, today. Need one more stop. I say that, we get it! Shinora's check is a check rabbit! That might be it. They got two timeouts. One of which will be the two-minute warning. The other will be... The other will be at their timeout they have to call. They might call before the two-minute warning, depending on how this run goes. I'm, that should have been a penalty. I think it was a face mask, corks collar, maybe. We got Richardson out there still. We keep losing yards, though. That's not good. But I'm going to run the ball and run the clock. Two-minute warning. Go ahead and run this ball. Yeah, Stewie, you gotta text me more, man. I'm and I say that as if I can't text you, but I'm just bad at that, honestly. Oh, that's a that's that's a good kick. That would make it a ten point game. Just waiting for that clock to tick. Clarence holds network. What's up, my guy? How are you? Let's go. Big kick there for the St. Louis Rams. Don't give him a chance to return. Okay. We got no timeouts. A minute 15, down 10. <laughs> so 31 leagues. Made playoffs to 22. I'm in the chip in two of them. Yeah. Not happy about it. Um, ooh. Yeah. And, hey, I'm that all-in best ball, man. I still have a shot in that one. I was it, – it's going to be close between me and first. Oh, and he stays in bounds. Oh, no. Yeah, that's my first best ball I've done that good in, so – Nick Chubb went down. Tank Dell went down. I, I I have the injured teams. Oh, nice break up there from Jack Rabbit. 
Yeah, I'm I'm definitely hitting a loss on my uh, on how much I spent this year, unfortunately. Matt Flynn. Third ten. They they gotta get a deep shot here. Oh, they can't get it now. One big throw and that I'll probably be game. Hey, there you go. Oh, nothing. Tried to hit Sidney Rice there. Yeah, um, here. I, no, I can't type that. I'll text it to you so you can see how much I'm down. Actually, I can do it from my phone. Let's take this knee real quick. Three, two, one, game. Yeah, I'm not doing great. <laughs> not doing great that that department at all. Twenty to ten. So it's not like we're gonna get those fifty-one point blowouts like we did last week. Let's check out our stats. Sam Bradford, thirteen, twenty-six. 50% completion, one touchdown, one NIT, 233 yards. Yeah, you tell him, percussion stud. Matt Floyd, 7 for 18, 146, 1 and 1. Rushing on our side, 26 for 84 and 1. Derrick Richardson, 16 for 59. P, 2 for negative 3. Amadol, 1 for 5. Bradford, 1 for negative 1. Uh, Marshawn held to 50 yards on 14 carries. Leon Washington, one of negative two, and Doug Baldwin, one for 28. Receiving wise, Sidney Rice had that 57, or sorry, 87 yard catch. Um, 4 104 and 1. Zach Miller, two for 35. Kellen Winslow, I was right, one for seven. Marshawn Lynch and Doug Baldwin didn't have any receptions. Uh, oh, I forgot to check our receiving. Duh. Uh, Danny Madolo, 579 and 1. Lance Kendricks, 3 for 50, and he got hurt. Steve Smith, 3 for 60. Steven Jackson, 2 for 44. So spread the ball around pretty evenly. Um, sacks, 2 from Mario Hagan, 2 from Jolon Dunbar, 1.5 from Rocky McIntosh, 1 from Brockers, and a half from Eugene Sims. The INT was from the Jackrabbit himself, Janoris Jenkins. Uh, any forced fumbles? I didn't think so. No safeties. Uh, we'll check out who... They had one sack from Walter Thurmond. They had one INT from Cam Chancellor. Aside from that, though, I mean, they had, some, they had a lot. Uh, yeah, they had some TFLs. Brandon McBain, uh, Jerron Johnson, and Bobby Wagner, all, th well, three and then two, and then some notables. KJ Wright, Chris Gallipo, Cam Chancellor, and Walter Thurmond. But, hey, you know what? As St. Louis Rams being three and one, that feels good. Sam Bradford, franchise quarterback? Maybe. This would definitely be an interesting scenario where he ends up being our quarterback. We never get Matthew Stafford. Who knows? Our defense locked down. Jeff Fisher, as you can see in the top right corner, looking good as always. Let's advance. No, we have to hit the QB check-in. And then we'll advance and we'll see what we have next. Probably will stream. Uh, I might not stream tomorrow. I might stream Monday though. Sam Bradford, by any means necessary, still earned twenty five hundred XP. Is it normal that I'm not getting like upgrades? Like, does that happen automatically? Did I set that to happen automatically? I 
Um, I'm sorry, what? Did, I have to look at that mod because I have a couple mods on. It might be one of the mods I have. Because there's no way it should be 9 mil to upgrade these guys. I'm going to have to look at that because that's not good. <laughs> I think that's... uh. I think it's one of the mods I have. But let's check out the Cardinals week. And then I got to go look into that mod and see because, you know, it was a short week, cold opponent, superstar Larry Fitz, some players ready to negotiate. They're 0 4. Beautiful. But we will start next week with this. And by next week, I mean like a couple days. Just check out the passing leaders top three Cam, Stafford, Alex Smith, rushing leaders Forte, Turner, and Aaron Foster. Receiving leaders, Steve Smith, Danny Amendola, Nate Burleson. Sack leaders, Randy Starks, Cam Wake, Muhammad Wilkerson. Interception leaders, Terrence Newman, Tyrell Johnson, Madia Williams. And tackle leaders, Bobby Wagner, Dequell Jackson, and Rolando McLean. Now, guys, like I said, that's going to do it. Thank you all. Oh, thank you all for coming out. Greatly appreciate it, as always. And, yeah.